Chris Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. Today I'm going to show you how to pull this part of the trim here apart. I've had an unfortunate little episode at a drive through going to put the cup in and they hadn't put the lid on and it poured the contents of a thick shake, a milk drink, all over this. It just got absolutely covered so there's milk down beside these buttons so I've got to pull this trim up getting to the button so that I can give it a decent clean. So we'll go about getting this off. First of all, is just getting this silver boot off here. A little pry tool. And I've um, just managed to pry up this back corner here is where we're gonna start. And then look at that, simple as, that then comes up and uh, gives you access to the steering thing. So if this has been, has been loose, you get access to your torque screws here to do that up. And as you can see, the crud, yeah, and look at the evidence of what's down there is what's come down. So that's one panel off, nice and easy. And then the next one, got the little side panels that we need to find and locate, and then we'll lift that up as well. I wanna show you as I'm going here, I've got uh, most of it up, as you can see. It is just a matter of getting under, I've got some pliers here with a bent nose. You can sort of get under and leave it up a little bit, just being careful to get it off. These have just got um, slots that clip through, so you really should be trying to release the slots, but you can't get to it on this side. So just a matter of working your way around. Again, using this, it's a lot like a guitar pick. You're working your way around up the side and just working, working and levering until we can get it off. And it's really feral. You can see where all the stuff is spilt down there. So we need to get this off. So we're looking at, I'll get these to point with, you see um, here, these little squares, that's what's holding it down. And that's what we have to get to, to unclip so that we can get in. And it's, it's all but off now. It's off on that side. All that's coming up. But it is, beware, it's very, very thin through here. And you don't want to crack it through there. So just working it. There's another clip right there directly opposite from that one. So just... This one's wanting to be stubborn. You can try to get over near to it like that. Give it a lift. And there you go. And there, it's all come out with none of them breaking, which is nice. So we get to clean this up. Um, and the next section here, yeah, that's going to lift straight up. Look at that. It comes out. And we're going to undo the plug and we can get out and give it a good old clean. So there you go. That's the bit that I needed to get out. It all is just a matter of clips and clipping. Being careful using plastic, not metal, as much as you can, unless you're sort of getting in underneath. And you can get those bits out including the ship. Put the um, wires back in the back and then sat that back down. And then this one here, it just sat and I just had to give it a bit of a, a tap, like a, a three finger tap, and it pressed down into place and then clipped into place. Absolutely beautifully. Interesting. Um, this is also replaceable. I know some people are wanting to carbon fiber bits all over the place. It's just held on with pins on the back here. So once you get this out, you can pop those off and remove that as well if you wanted, if you wanted to swap it out, or in my case, clean it. It does actually, move a little bit it's not fixed there's a bit of play in there obviously and uh, that, that does good okay to put it back on really nice and straightforward um, over the top and press that down and then putting the bottom in first and then the top clicks in and there it clicks in all the way around and everything's back in beautifully clean and perfect there you go. So it all just clips. You're just going to need something plastic to get in under the under there to start with, and then the same around there, and you can clip these things on and off. There's no broken tabs or anything like that. It's all survived really well. Good luck as you do yours.